Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at an option that's in Microsoft 365 called Analyze Data. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail with it, but hopefully enough that it will whet your appetite and want you to dive into it and explore all the different things that you can do with this option in Excel. But before we jump into that, please take a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you can get a notice whenever I put out a new video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also find me at any of the social media sites you see here. So now let's check out today's topic. So here I have a data set of dates and salespeople, models, regions, price, cost, profit, and revenue, etc. And I want to analyze this data, not sure exactly what I'm looking for, but try to find some unique things about it, maybe some things that I haven't thought about, different ways to look at this data. And Excel provides a tool to do that in Microsoft 365. So if you go to the Home tab, and at the very far right, there's an option called Analyze Data. And if I select that, Excel will highlight my data and in the far right it will provide several different options of how they analyze this data, some unique things to look for, and we'll go through some of those. So for example, the first thing that Excel thought is I price per by region and salesperson and it gives me this option to insert this pivot table. So if I select that, it will open up a new tab and it will provide me a pivot table that gives me the sum of price per salesperson by region. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that for right now, but I could take this, modify it any way I'd want, add some things, delete some things, but it gives me a good start of analyzing this data. I can go down and look at cost by salesperson by model. It tells me that cost has four outliers, so I might want to look at those to see, is there an error in the data? Is there something specific I should look at for those four? It also tells me that salesperson Ed has noticeably higher total profit. Good to know, but why do the other salespeople not have so much? Again, gives me some thoughts and insights that I might want to dig down deeper into those issues to see why. Now, even though that only provides four different options here, notice down at the bottom it shows show all 35 results. And it will go through a myriad of options, new and used in a donut chart, frequency of quantity, some scattered charts, some more outliers to take a look at. A salesperson Ed has noticeably higher quantity, etc. And you can go through these and see the different variables and the different things that Excel has pulled out that maybe I want to take a look at. At the very top, notice it gives me some suggested questions. Percentage of total quantity for each model, total cost for salesperson excluding Ed, different things like that, or I can type my own question. So for example, if I say highest sales by person and I select that, Notice it doesn't give me anything because I'm not using the text that is in the headers for Excel to analyze it. But instead if I say highest total revenue by salesperson, hit enter, now it gives me total revenue by salesperson. So I can type any question that references the headers I have and Excel will provide the answer for that. The other thing you can do is select this gear here and by selecting the gear you can identify which fields you want Excel to analyze and which you don't. So if I want to clear my select all and instead I want to choose model, region, and total profit, click update now Excel will provide some options and there's a total of five results based on those selections that I made. So again, I'm not going to go through a lot more detail, but hopefully this will give you the interest in choosing analyzed data if you have 
a data set that you want to dig into to maybe find some unique or unusual things about that data. And that's how you can do that in Excel.